This is Bucket Truck Training for Bucket Truck 49. We're going to pick up right after you do the pre-trip and after you've read the policy on Bucket Truck Training. Uh, as always, you want to make sure that it's in neutral and that we apply the parking brake. And because 49 has a generator in the back, we want to make sure that our master switch is on as well as our flashers are on. After we've set the parking brake, and move power to the back, the flashers. We can go ahead and set up like we normally do with the wheel chocks and the outriggers. So go ahead and set the wheel chocks. Get on the side of the rig that you're going to be working off of. Work on the passenger side. We throw them on the passenger side, driver's side, the driver's side. Once we have them set, Go ahead and start the motor, which will then give us power so we can go into the bucket. So to get the engine or the generator on 49 started, remember we've hit the master switch in the front. We have our beacons on. We come over here and we simply lift up on this until the generator starts. If it's cold outside, it might take an extra couple of seconds or so. So we just keep our finger on it until it's started. Put our air rigger pads down. Our rigger pads, simply pull out the button, and then as we're looking to make sure we're not setting it on someone's foot or on a piece of concrete or any other item that's not going to support us, keep an eye on it and we push down on the outrigger. Putting the outriggers down, we want to make sure that we are as level as we can be. We do not want to completely lift the wheels up. The outriggers are just for stability. So as level as we can be, when we like it, we hit the button, we transfer controls up front. As always, you want to make sure it's unstrapped before we go up. This is the location for the emergency controls on 49. Very similar to the other bucket trucks we've looked at. We have rotation, clockwise, counterclockwise. We can level the platform, lower or raise it. We have the outer boom, we can extend or retract. And then we have the lower boom, extend or retract. From here is also where, if there's any water in the bucket, we can tilt the bucket to drain the water because we cannot and should not drill a hole in the bottom of these buckets. So we'll go ahead and show you how to empty the water out from here. First of all, you want to move it so that you have lower controls. And then from here, we're going to simply raise it, extend it, and then once we're out past the back of the bucket, we will then tilt the bucket and drain the water. Controls. They're very similar to 23. Uh, we have lower boom. You got to lift up and then either extend, lower or raise. We have inner boom. You can lift up to uh, extend or retract. 
We have outer, lower rays. We can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. We can level the platform. We can rotate the platform clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, if for any reason these don't give you the movement you're looking for, keep in mind that the switch here could have been bumped, so always make sure that it's back on to lift. If for whatever reason you run out of power, we have our emergency power here. Very similar, we just hold down on it. Make the movement that we need, but don't do it for any longer than 30 seconds or we're gonna burn up the engine, give it a rest, and then do it again until you're down safely. As we go to put it away, always remember to keep an eye out for any overhead, any trees, bench points. We want to make sure we're inside or we're on the controls. up our wheel chocks and head out. Now we're ready to hop in and go to the next task. So once we hop back in and we're ready to go, we need to remember to turn off the master, turn off the beacon lights, and then from here, just put it in drive and continue on. This has been Bucket Truck Training for number 49. So this will wrap up your bucket truck training videos. If you have any questions, contact your supervisor or anyone in the shop so that they can answer them for you.